there's something that you can do at any given time to puff up your kids' optimism. And optimism, we tend to think of it as a personality trait, but it, it isn't really, it's just a lens. And everybody chooses to look through a particular lens of the situation they're in, and it's impacted by a lot of things. Some of that might be nature, but there are a lot of controllable factors. So one of the things that you can do is ask your kids to play, and I've done this with my kids for years, you don't need a pandemic for this, is to play a game called high, low, high. At dinner time, you can say, all right, who wants to play high, low, high? And that person tells you a high about their day, a low in their day, and a high about their day. And in doing this and making sure that everybody, grownups included, takes a turn expressing their high and their low and their high, well, you're asking them to come up with two positives for every negative. You might think right now, while we're all together all day long, that you know everything that happened in everybody's day and they don't really have much to tell. But the truth is, we never know anybody else's experience of what happened. So when they have to dig back and tell you about times when you were together that they experienced a high or a low or a high, you'll learn a little bit about their perspective and they'll learn a little bit about everyone else's perspective. But by being forced to think of an extra positive or something extra to be grateful for, not just that it's even, but that we look for one more thing that's good than we do thing that's bad, we get that opportunity to really dig for what felt good that day. And the other advantage that they'll see is that when they express a low, they'll find that their siblings and their parents can practice showing empathy, not just offering solutions. Well, what you should have done was this, or what you did wrong was that, but oh yeah, I've felt that too, and that can be really hard.